today. We're just about set for the Sandy Lane, and they're off. Millstream not the quickest away for the bet friend. Nifty 50, Sandy Lane stakes over the straight six furlongs. Towards the left, Little Big Bear in the purple broke well. He's right up there with Brad Sell showing speed. The centre in the red and white. Towards the far side, Matilda Picotte is the yellow cap. That's Ronan Whelan. Cole Case is next, going far side, the Riddler in red. More towards the near side, should have been a ring, the grey. And then Millstream with the white cap. They head then past the four. Brad Sell narrowly. Far side, though, Matilda Picotte is right up there. Stand side, that's Little Big Bear, the hot favourite. Alongside that runner is Cole Case as they head down then past halfway. Little Big Bear towards the stand side, towards the far side, more towards the centre of the track is Matilda Picotte, who's right there. Brad Sell in the middle in the red colours. Cole Case is under pressure, then Millstream. Should have been a ring, is making ground. The grey going quite nicely. Inside the two, Brad Sell has a narrow lead from Little Big Bear. Should have been a ring, still making ground. Here comes Little Big Bear, though, towards the stand side rails. And now Little Big Bear has found his stride. And he's going on by two lengths. And Little Big Bear is pouring it on. He's storming away. He's back to winning ways. It's a double for Frankie Tory, Little Big Bear wins the Sandy Lane Stakes. He's back. He beat Should Have Been a Ring, who did close the gap to about a length and a half late on. They were clear of Brad Sell in third and fourth. Won by Little Big Bear and Frankie Tory. That was a nice ride to have. Yes, uh, in fairness, they booked me about 10 days ago, but I said to him, hold on, because I could be in Ireland for the Guineas, but uh, things didn't materialise, so uh, I was straight on the phone. I said, yes, I'm going to Aidoc. Mm. And, uh, look, champion two-year-old. Too long in the Guineas, and uh, he won in good style today. Always had the race covered, quick and not well, hands and nails, good confidence booster before the Commonwealth. I love it the way when you gear down in the winning line, years prick. He yeah. looks real professional over that trip. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the last 20 yards, I eased up, and he, did, he got the job done. And uh, you know, you've got to put him on good, in good stead for the Commonwealth. Yeah, you might struggle to find something to beat him, won't you? I don't, I don't know. I'm missing the lineup, but look. He was champion to it all, uh, he's got big figures, he's come back to his best today and uh, yeah, he'll be uh, a favourite. And he just looked real relaxed and everything yeah. before yeah, it. Yeah, good looks. He looked, he looked magnificent yeah. and uh, you know, I guess the, they had to try the guineas but it didn't work out and uh, back to sprinting. Well done. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.